Hi, I wanted to do a uh, a short video on this AM tank that I carry around on my flatbed, uh, take with us on our trips, and we use it for our off-road vehicles and at home for our regular vehicles and for our lawnmower. It's a 58-gallon gas tank with pumping station. We used to own a toy hauler, so every time we went out, we always had um, gas available in their storage tank for our vehicles you know, like a razor and that. So when we went to a motor home, uh, we lost that ability. So I had to have some way to carry around gas that was convenient for everybody who needed to refill up instead of having to, you know, carry around a bunch of gas cans and stuff. Uh, we've had this one for almost two years. And uh, what it, uh, how I have it set up is, um, what I do is I just have a little solar panel that I keep on top of here. I usually have this covered with a uh, with a tarp, and then I have a piece of flat wood on piece of plywood on top, and I set this on top of the plywood so it gets in the sun. And then what that does is it has a little charger down here, and that charger keeps the battery in here um, topped off, so it keeps it fully charged. Um, I had an old battery from my my coach before I changed it when I changed them. And I just put that old battery in here. So you can see that uh, this goes to the uh, little charger. And this goes, uh, the panel goes into, hooks it to the charger too. And it, and it just keeps it, keeps it up. Um, so what happens is, now that this is charged all the time, this battery is, then what I, all I have to do is when I want to use this pump right here, is just get the key out because I've got a couple little locks on here and then just go ahead and okay slide these little barrel hooks on here and then what you have here is that should lock up like that what you have in here is your is your handle for your pump and You've got a valve right here that you can shut it off and then you're on and off switch for your pump so you can turn it on and off when you need it when you want it on pull this out okay disconnect this little uh, this little charger and then and you have to use, do this to activate the, the pump station. Positive, positive, negative, negative. And then at that point, you can plug it into here. And that'll activate the pump. So that turn is on. Then you can utilize your, your, your pump and fill it up. So that's pretty simple. And then when you're done, just disconnect this. Tuck this in here. Disconnect these two. Just store that back in there. And then hook your solar, your solar panel back up to charge. And that'll keep your batteries charged. Now when I'm when I'm gonna be leaving, I take my panel off there and just uh basically cinch this back on when I'm done and tighten that down and the panel's got a good spot to run it, to lay and then I just take this and lock it back up and these hold it down so that's the whole idea behind it so that I can carry my fuel I also carry a generator a gas generator to run some things once in a while instead of having just the coach generator I've always got that and I want to keep it active so by running some fuel through it otherwise it sits too long and then the carburetor starts to get gummed up but uh, it's got a nice uh, two inch filling filling right here you can fill it up it's got a long um, got a long hose I don't know about eight or ten feet so you can reach out pretty far um, and it all works really well so um, I haven't found any problems with it in two years and this battery 
has kept up even on busy weekends. So even with this little panel with it in the sun all the time, it works great. I've, I never had a point where the battery was low. And it's a pretty good size uh, AGM battery, so it's not going to run low really, really quickly. And this doesn't consume that much, and I'm not running it constantly, so I think it, I think it's, it's done very well.